ポケモンゲットだぜハリパーツモークポンズ here welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green version last time we got through Victory Road and made our way to the Pokemon League so you may be wondering what I'm doing all the way over here back in Cinnabar Island but、uh, I stupidly forgot to catch ourselves a Staryu while I was here so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that real quick and you may notice my dex count is much higher than it is and I will be going over all of、uh, what we've attained very、uh, shortly All right, after a little bit, we finally got ourselves the star you to spawn. Oh, what? <laughs> It knows recover? That's not good. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Alright, got ourselves a nice star, you. One of the best water type Pokemon in the game, water psychic type,、uh, when it's a star me. It's an enigmatic Pokemon that can effortlessly regenerate any appendage it loses in battle. Oh, jeez. Just like a regular. We should just name it Patrick Star. Nah, it's <laughs> not pink enough to be Patrick. And if you didn't know, you evolve star you by giving it a water stone. So we can get ourselves another easy dex entry there. And,、uh, yeah, if, as I've mentioned, Starmie is the.、Uh, I mean, it, it can learn Surf and Psychic, and I believe it can also learn Thunderbolt. It can, it's great type coverage if you're.、Uh, especially if you're going into the Elite Four, if you're playing Leaf Green version and you're not using Blastoise or Lapras、uh, or, or Tentacruel. I, or Gyarados, I think Starmie is pretty much the best water type to use. It's extremely fast, too, and great special attack. So, with that, I guess we haven't done the Pokedex rating in a while, so now we have a whopping 126. Doo doo! I, I will trade with myself. Don't worry, Professor Oak. I don't have any friends. Okay, so as you can see, we got ourselves a Prime Ape、uh, from that Victory Road. I got that off screen. Pardon me for that. And、uh, I also got a Sand Slash from Victory Road off screen.、Uh, I also evolved that Machop I had into a Machoke. I got ourselves a, that Pidgeot from the Pidgeotto I caught over on the Sevi Islands.、Um, and that's pretty much the main stuff I've evolved. Uh, that you guys、uh, haven't seen. If my memory serves me correctly. So, yeah, that puts us at a nice whopping 126 total combined with that、uh, Star You and Star Me I just got. Alright, so before we、uh, continue on to the Victory Road、uh, to challenge the Pokemon League,、uh, I just want to make a note real quick of kind of just like, You know, I personally think the Elite Four is relatively easy, but just in case you're having a little trouble training for it, as you saw right there in my little menu, all my、uh, Pokemon are at least level 50, with Pikachu being level 55, just because I want. Pikachu's a little frail, so I just want to get them a little bit more speed points in order to actually fight people.、Uh, And you may be wondering, I'm going back to the Sevi Islands over here real quick just because I want to show a good training spot. Just in case you guys are getting a little tired of fighting people on Victory Road constantly,、uh, well, Pokemon, because I stupidly forgot that you can't use the Versus Seeker in the caves. So, that was totally a my B on that moment. Hold on, I'm going to cut to where I'm supposed to be. So, yeah, obviously, do the Sevi Island side quest if you're underleveled and you skipped it before after defeating Blaine. And this spot in particular, I wanted to showcase. Let me just go ahead and equip my Versus Seeker to my select button here. And you want to get this girl running 
while she's down here, and you can effectively get all of these trainers to rematch you with the Versus Seeker if you just kind of, kind of time it right. The one thing you have to keep a note of is if you just wait here, that girl's pretty much not going to spawn, so you kind of have to go up so the game will, like, spawn her, basically. Uh, and then kind of just, like, run down with her and time it to get all four, all of these, uh, four battles up on the screen at once. Uh, sometimes, you know, you only get one or two, but the reason I would recommend doing this over than just repeatedly fighting wild Pokemon and Victory Road is you get money for this, and sometimes you fight, like, those really scrubby Machops and stuff in Victory Road, and they don't give any experience, and when you're at least fighting these guys' scrubby Machops, at least you get a little bit more experience, and you have a guaranteed, like, a thousand experience every single from one of their Pokemon, so it's just, you know, maybe it goes a little quicker, and you got this spot to heal right over here at the Ember Spa, and just say, for instance, you're like, well, I, my Pokemon get tired between battles, like, what do I do? Uh, if you have yourself luckily enough to have a Chansey, you can actually use the Soft Boiled in the, uh, you know, to heal Pokemon while you're out in the field without using any resources, so that's something you can do you know, just kind of in between battles, because when you leave this screen, all of the, the, you know, the Versus Seeker effects will go away, essentially, so you can't just go to the Pokemon Center and heal. And I'm going to show the other spot you can do this, because the thing is, all those guys use Fighting-type Pokemon. So say, for instance, my Snorlax, I actually didn't grind with those guys, I grinded over here on Bond Bridge, I'll go show that real quick. Alright, so this is the exact spot I was talking about, um, and you can get these three trainers to rematch you, and if you're lucky like I did, you get all three of them at once, and you can use that trick before, or you can just buy, like, lemonades or whatever, it's pretty cheap to do so. Uh, that's another healing tactic for you, uh, in between battles. So these are the, um, the main locations, and before going into the Pokemon League, you essentially... I highly, highly, highly recommend you have the move cut, like a good electric type, a good psychic type, and then like a, either like a really good water type or a really good grass type. Like as balanced of a team as possible, as easy as that is, especially if you're not using legendaries. Um, you know, you want to have a nice, well balanced team with all good type coverage. But obviously, if you're open to using legendaries, feel free to use them. They're all level 50. You just have to invest the time and resources into catching them. So, uh, but yeah, I highly if you need a good electric type, Raichu's really good. Jolteon's really good, although you have to invest TMs. So if you need the TMs for Ice Beam as well as the other move, I would recommend. So yeah, you want to have a good... You just want, at least, you need four moves, essentially. Thunderbolt, Psychic, Surf, and Ice Beam. If you have those four moves, you're pretty much good. Or you can just, like, you, uh, you know, use Nidoking and sweep everybody anyways. <laughs> just kidding, but, uh, you, you definitely can solo this game with Nidoking. And, I mean, it's I've seen a lot of crazy stuff done in this game. So, let me enter and get my team prepared real quick. Alright, so here's what my team's looking like. Here's all their stats and their levels. I got Pikachu up to level 55, like I said, because I wanted that increased speed. I still might get outsped by some later opponents we'll fight in the Elite Four, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So I've gotten everybody to at least level 50, and here's all their stats and such. And I guess the one issue with training over uh, with all those karate guys is that you mostly get attack EVs from them. So if you're using mostly special attackers like I am, maybe that's not the best thing, and I obviously haven't gone over effort values. But basically the TLDR for it is the Pokemon you defeat, like you kind of gain their stats essentially. Uh, their strongest stat is like the one that's more likely that gets increased basically. <laughs> Uh, that's a really dumb explanation of it without going into the math, so there you go. And, uh, I guess I'll show their moves, too. Uh, my move cover- I haven't put any really TMs other than this, like, you know, the ones that are, you know, you recyclable, essentially, you can get multiples of them. So this is obviously not the greatest move coverage, but, uh, you know, we're sticking with it. This is, uh, our life. This is how we're rolling. 
And before we, uh, you go, I obviously recommend highly stocking up on a bunch of items over here. Very conveniently placed for you at the Mart guy right over here. And as you can see, I have 15 full stores already. I got 10 max potions, 15 revives, and then I'm also going to stock up on a few more full heals. Uh, probably a little overkill, but whatever. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and pop a save here. I put uh, a lot of errors in, as you can see, but definitely at least like five of those errors are like idle time. Uh, just, you know, petting my cat or cooking or something or making sure the footage turned out good before I saved and stuff. Alright, so as that champ in the making guy told us, you enter here, you can't leave until you're defeated or you win. So make sure you're prepared. Don't just go in there half-baked, alright? Uh, and... I know, with no pra procrastination, uh, let's enter. Well, you only face the Elite Four. If you wanna, yep, we know. This just says Indigo Plateau. Yep, alright. Let's do it. And our first opponent is Lorelei. She uses Water Ice type Pokemon. Highly recommend you. That's why I said you wanna have a good Electric type. Jolteon and Raichu, or Zapdos, you know, whatever you're doing. Like the bugs works too, if you're playing Fire Red. But, uh, you know, you gotta invest TMs into some of them, like that Thunderbolt TM at the game corner. But enough of me being a broken rhetoric, let's get to it. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can beat me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Are you ready? Let's get it. And she's probably my personal favorite Elite Four member uh, of the Kanto. Uh, generation, just cause, uh, I mean, I don't know, dude. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? And Dugong might love this, cause Dugong's a little bit beefy, so that's kind of why I wanted to invest a little extra time and get Pikachu all the way up to level 55, and we are good. Sick. And essentially, the one actual Ice type Pokemon she'll have, spoiler alert, is gonna be a Jinx. Uh, but she usually doesn't send that out until later in the battle, so I think we're going to have a relatively easy time sweeping her. So I may have overleveled Pikachu just a bit, but I wanted to make sure- he's just very frail, like I've said before. So I just want to make sure he has a chance of outspeeding some later fights we'll have. I I'll probably still get outsped. Uh, and this is actually probably a Pokemon Pikachu might fall to, because Slowbro is also tanky. Let's see though, I have like 160-something special attacks to so maybe I'm good. Yeah, let's freaking go. <laughs> Alright, she's done, man. We are sweeping through her. And personally, yeah, uh, the, the first two Elite Four people are pretty easy, so if you're having trouble with them, definitely go back and train in those spots I showed you so you can build your money back up again, too. And, wow, we almost took down her Ace Pokemon in one hit, and that was a really dumb idea to use Confuse Ray on me, but whatever. Maybe she'll get lucky, but the problem with the Elite Four people, as you're going to see right here, is they're going to use a, what is she got, Leftovers here, Citrus Berry? Okay, yeah, all their Ace Pokemon pretty much have like a Citrus Berry and stuff, and I, I have items on all my Pokemon, you know, I just kind of slapped them on randomly, feel free to get the, the ones at the game corner too, uh, to increase like the water and fire moves of your starter, uh, I just never ended up doing that, I probably should, but I'm saving my money for Porygon. The thing is, I kind of want to heal right here too, because she's going to. So maybe I will use a full heal here, yeah. Sorry for that pause there, I was just kind of strategizing what I, if I wanted to take the risk of that 50-50 coin flip. I opted not to. Sorry. And let's see if we get lucky on that RNG this time and end up getting a KO. Oh, almost. What's she gonna do? Confuse Ray again? Yep. And she's most likely going to heal again. I don't want to drain all my full restores on her, though, so this is the problem. Or er, full heals on her. Hmm. Maybe I should switch? Would that be... I'll just take the coin flip. If I get unlucky, I'll, uh, I'll switch. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's not good. So now she's definitely gonna attack, and I'll probably die. 
whatever. I believe in you, Pikachu. You can do it this time. Aw, oh, dude. <laughs> After I believed in you, you can zoom me like that. Alright, well, actually, a good thing I didn't switch into Venusaur or something. I would have taken an absurd amount of damage. Alright. And we're actually just gonna put her to sleep. And I'll get her this way. And I should definitely invest, uh, if you have the Toxic TM, I uh, highly recommend teaching Pokemon Toxic, uh, as, uh, as well as Protect if you're having some issues with the Elite Four, because you can basically just Toxic stall your opponent. If you get like a tanky Pokemon, like Snorlax or something, or Lapras or something, you can definitely uh, stall your opponent out, because Toxic does built up damage over time. So thing is you just gotta you can't just go into Pokemon only using I don't know why it, dude come on one HP bro Venusaur <laughs> we got some splaining you got some splaining to do oh dude Venusaur I swear thank you oh my god yeah don't just come in here with only attacking moves like you gotta use some strategy if you're gonna be under leveled like I am and like you're kind of supposed to be. You can't just brute force everything. I mean, you kind of can if you just get enough levels, but... If you don't want to be doing that and you want to play the game like the way you're supposed to, don't just be brute forcing everything with attacking moves. Oh, get wrecked. I hard read she was going to use a tract. I totally knew it. I totally... No, she, why wouldn't she use Ice Beam? She's dumb. Why did that not kill? Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, well, luckily we have a Poke Flute, so I can heal, wake up that way. So, yeah, obviously, come. that's the pro strat, is if you're sleeping, use the Poke Flute so you don't waste your, your resources on that. Alright. I guess she has Ice Punch instead of Ice Beam. Now you're done, huh? And, uh, yeah, I really liked Lorelei's anime appearance, uh... I mean, she's just... She's just an attractive redhead with glasses. I mean, like, dude, that's all you need to say. Things shouldn't be this way. And because I used that amulet coin, we get a lot of money. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. We've only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. That's right, so we've got a bunch of more fights. And excuse me while I heal up real quick. Alright, and uh... In the original games, I think you could actually, like, fish in here, which is pretty funny. Uh, but now it's actually more like an ice thing, which is cool. Let's go inside here. Now we have Bruno, who's a fighting type user, as he'll tell us. However, don't be tricked by that. Look at these rocks around here, alright? is a little bit of a clue for his first Pokemon. Through rigorous training, people in Pokemon become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. Red, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Let's go, Bruno! This guy, the first, like, two members of the Elite Four are just, like, super hot. They're just, like, it's just, like, why? Why are they just randomly super hot for no reason? And I'm, I'm, I guess I'm stupid by starting off with Venusaur here, but because he's using fighting types and I'm using a set style rather than switch style, I just want to have a little a type resistance against him for when he sends his fighting Pokemon out. And luckily, we're going to get some levels while fighting the Elite Four also. Hopefully, I get lucky. Yup, sick. And I might actually take this opportunity to set up on his uh, Hitmonchan. Well, actually, no, I'm not. Because I'm, I'm a little worried about... Well... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to set up with Growth. While he's asleep. Hope I get lucky. Because the thing is, Hitmonchan's special attack is terrible, like I've said before, so he's obviously going to try to Ice Punch me, and I don't... I'm just going to eat it for breakfast. 
So let me get one more growth, and I think we'll be good. I kind of want to be greedy and go for a fourth one, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm probably overkilled now, but it's all good. I'm gonna get ice punched. Oh, rock tombed. What? Why are you rock tombing me? What? 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 <laughs> Do I not remember his moves? Whatever, dude. What an idiot. Why would I use a physical move? Alright, I guess he doesn't know Ice Punch. I'm a freaking idiot. He actually has a good moveset. Cool. Obviously it says it in the, in the thing. I should have used Strength. Now I'm looking like stupid. So yeah, obviously also teach Giga Drain to your Venusaur, if you have one. I would recommend that over Razor Leaf. Just invest the TMs. I'm just saving them for really no reason. And I gave my Venusaur an Orenberry just for no reason, I guess. <laughs> so I guess it kicked in there. I got a free 10 HP from it, so maybe I'll live something I shouldn't. Who knows? We'll see. Using strength, obviously, I don't want to miss again. Luckily, Venusaur is doing a good job just sweeping his whole team now that we've kind of set up. Oh wow, I didn't know Onyx would outspeed me. That's crazy. That Rock Tomb actually is important. Dang. That's actually nuts. Um. You know, I'll send out Blastoise. I was contemplating sending out Lapras, but due to his last Pokemon, that's not a good idea. However, Lapras does need to get some levels pretty soon in order to do a little bit more for us in the upcoming battles. Took out a second Onyx there, so yeah, it's just kind of like the Elite Four have like a little bit more balanced Pokemon to a degree, even if they're type specialists. And this is his most powerful Pokemon, his ace Pokemon, Champ. Definitely watch out for this thing. Uh, that's why I highly recommend you have a Psychic Pokemon sweeps through his whole team. Ouch. I kind of want to try Hydro Cannon, but it's probably going to be sacking my Venusaur and screwing up all my resources, so I'm not sure that's the best idea. Uh, save Hydro Cannon. It's probably going to cross trap again. So we'll switch into Charizard to resist that. Oh, what? Did he hard read that? What? Aw, oh, dude, now I'm mad. No way he hard read that. Oh, and he's bulking up on me? That's not good. That's not good. See, this is why I don't play this game without a psychic head. <laughs> yeah, I was a little worried about his rock team again. He's probably gonna live this, actually. Yeah, oh, shoot. I might be dead. Sorry, Charizard. Um, hmm. So he's gonna use a rock tomb again. Well, if Charizard dies, I think Pikachu will be able to clutch it for me. Maybe Flamethrower will do more. Oh, shit, he fucking outspeeds me now. Fuck. <laughs> Charizard dies to a fucking rock. I'm sorry for cursing now, but I just don't care. I've been trying to hold it in. I just curse too much in my own vocabulary. Whatever, Pikachu, just just make him go away. You can do it. Dude! <laughs> Aw. Dude. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Oh, now I'm in trouble. What am I gonna do? I guess I have to revive. I don't like to do it. Cause he's gonna full restore on me. Bro, I'm just max reviving. Fuck this guy. Who's the best one? I guess Venusaur. 
so I can actually resist his attacks. Alright. I'm just gonna sack Blastoise to whittle him down a little bit. This battle's turning out much longer than I thought it would. Whatever. Uh, let's just Hydro Cannon him. Fuck it. Do as much damage as we can. Ooh, get inaccurate it on. What if Blastoise just clutches this? Be so sick. Come on, put me into the. Aw, oh, dude, don't crit me. That's not cool. So, yeah, obviously, I'm not using psychics as I've said before, so this is a little rougher for me. Sleep powder, of course, will miss, and he's gonna get scary face off. And... I get it, bro. I get it. Ugh. This is a little rough. This was a uh, nuzzle. I gotta be fucked. Luckily not. Luckily this is just a normal catch 'em all playthrough. And let's see how much damage regular Razor Leaf does. It's not gonna do much, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Let me growth on him a little bit, so I can kill him in the next turn. Sorry for this, but this is what we gotta do. We gotta use some strategy. And it takes a little bit of time with the Pokemans and the strategies. And I'm doing four growths. Uh-oh. That's not good. He's also bulking up. But luckily we're using a special attack, so he's not... His resistance to us isn't gonna do any better. It's just his... Shit. Alright. Well, he's gotten two off. I think I got three or four off, I forgot, but... I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna attack. And I'm gonna miss. Just watch. That's how it's gonna go. 5% chance of missing move, more like 50%. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Fuck this game. That was so stupid. I hate my life. Alright, so we've defeated Bruno. How could he lose? Your job is done. Go face your next challenge. And I know it makes sense to maybe split this video up into two, to two parts, the first two members of the Elite Four and then the next two, right? But I'm actually going to take on one more before we end things off. We're doing a bit of a super sode here, so bear with me. I'm sorry, everybody. Alright. Now that I've successfully healed up, I am just uh, not saving at all, just because I want to make sure these takes come out okay. Uh, it's probably stupid of me, but hey. Alright, and now on to the third member of the Elite Four, Agatha. I hear Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. Red, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Hey, dearie. Make sure you got your dark types out front, dearie. And by dark types, there are none in this game. Uh, yeah, also, if you have a psychic type, it's a little bit of a dual, uh, you know, double-edged sword here, because you, you special, you know, you're both super effective on each other here. So she's gonna actually do get off her toxic stall on her Gengar, so... Definitely, uh, that's gonna give us some issues, but luckily I have ourselves that leftovers on Blastoise as well as a bunch of full restores. And this uh, bite strategy is not working out like I thought it would. Because, uh, unfortunately our, our Blastoise has an adamant nature, which means he doesn't get good special attacks. Oh, this is gonna kill me, this gangler. I forgot how annoying this thing is. I don't think- I think it's gonna live maybe next turn. We'll see. Alright, get the 
poison off. Yeah. Please, Blastoise, I'm begging you. I probably should surf, actually, that might be better. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh. That's not good, man. This is not good. Um, so the thing is, in the original games, Agatha is way easier because uh, now all her Pokemon ex are immune to ground type moves except for her Arbok. Uh, so if you have Earthquake, it's not great. <laughs> Shit, I'm in trouble. She got off her double team spam and I'm gonna be kinda fucked. Yep, alright. This is not good for me. I just gotta get lucky with some RNG here. Alright, that seems to do more damage. Blastoise. I think I'm I'm better forced right here. I know I, I'll get uh I just don't want to get hit. She see she was gonna shadow punch me, which wouldn't done, do much, but combined with that poison, I would have died next turn. So I took. I she's gonna toxic confuser. Okay, that's also not good. Yeah, this Gengar is really freaking annoying. So make sure you don't let it set up on you like I did. I probably should have led with Pikachu actually, and just hoped I I took it out. Uh, Cause now I'm in some trouble. Cause it's kind of getting off on me. Ooh. I am not having good luck. Alright, toxic and confused. I might just use a full heal. Especially if I miss or get confused and hit myself. Fuck my life, man. Alright, I'm gonna cut to when this thing's dead. This is stupid. Well, actually, nah, fuck it. You're all suffering with me. Fuck you guys. No, just kidding. <laughs> I just don't want anybody to think I like, cheated or something. And I don't know. Not that... I don't know. Right, who cares? <sighs> God damn, this Gengar is so annoying. I mean, dude, stop. <laughs> oh, I'm about to switch, honestly. Yes, okay. Sorry to pop off right there. Let's fucking go, Pikachu. Let's fucking go. That was the play. Yeah, this is actually, believe it or not, going to be most likely my hardest Elite Four fight. And that was... I can't believe she just gave me a free Pokemon to KO with her Golbat right there. I'm down with that. Please. Please. Make this easier for me after I just suffered through that. Sweet. And luckily every time I, I basically got plus four special attack. So I have a pretty beefy special attack. And it's gonna intimidate me, which does nothing. And I unfortunately will have to sack Pikachu here, probably against this Arbok. I will be very surprised if it lives. Yeah, or it doesn't live, excuse me. So I guess I could have healed, but I don't know. I think I, I might have died either way. I would have just been in a healing stall war with her, which you never really want to be in. So I guess, um... Hmm. Let's uh, send out Lapras, because we're going to need Lapras to hopefully get some levels here. Probably not going to get enough experience, even if I KO the rest of your Pokemon with Lapras, but that's okay. Shit. Nice every time, bro. <laughs> oh, I forgot I put a Lumberry on. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. I totally forgot about that. 
So I sacrificed some of my resources, you know. Might as well. And, uh... <laughs> no! I was gonna confuse you. Let's see how you liked it. Alright, well... So this is her ace Pokemon she's sending out against me, obviously. Her second Gengar, they tend to do that a lot, have two of the same Pokemon, just because they kind of ran out of Pokemon in Generation 1. Nightmare. Ooh. You didn't expect me to have that, did you? And luckily, her she has Hypnosis rather than... Her first Gengar is way more annoying, honestly. This one's got a much more reasonable moveset because Hypnosis has a much lower accuracy. So now let's get that surf off. And luckily we got a taste of her, her own medicine there. And honestly, I really like Agatha as an Elite Four member. I also really like Bruno and Lorelei. I like them all, honestly. Uh, I pretty, yeah. The fourth one is I like too, but. I think he's overhyped, but whatever. All of them are good. Like, I like her backgrounds with uh, Professor Oak, kind of, and uh, I like Bruno's depiction in the Pokemon's uh, Adventures manga. It's really cool. Uh, just, uh, I don't know, it's just neat. It's all just neat. I'm gonna get poisons. Okay, wow. Uh, let's try Ice Beam, I guess, for fun. I don't think this will do any, you know, it's gonna do the same amount of damage either way. Alright, so hopefully the Citrus Berry tricks her AI into not healing. That would be nice. Uh, the thing is, I'm actually dead next turn. Hmm. Should I heal? Or should I switch? Uh, I could switch into Blastoise. Or Ven well, the thing is, Venusaur doesn't have anything to fight Gengar with. Uh, I'll just heal Lapras, get the experience. Seems to be the play. She might heal too, we'll see. No? Oh, well, she used Hypnosis! What? what? Why would you use Hypnosis? <sighs> the AI makes no sense. Did she read I was going to heal? Is that what it was? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Seems to be acting randomly. I, <laughs> that was a really risky play, though. There's only a 55% chance of hitting me. And it's actually interesting she's not doing a Nightmare anymore. So I guess she knows I have that Poke Flip. So that's actually pretty interesting. I wonder if... It's not just random dumb decisions like some ape in there just made, <laughs> hitting random buttons. Alright, after that grind, we finally got our last Pokemon, her Haunter. For some reason, she saved this one for last rather than her. Uh, bro, come on. <laughs> it's 55% chance. And I missed Razor Leaf like 30 times in a row. She gets hypnosis like 3 out of 4 times. Give me a break, bro. Come on with this. just like bust out the flute mid battle and Agatha's just like what the fuck like what are you doing this is not the time for your musical lesson alright I guess she didn't learn cause she keeps alright you why would you do that why what a dumb play alright the AI is actually just a bunch of stupid monkeys operating it confirmed she just gave up. She was like, this video's gone on long enough, bro. Like, you gotta end this. Oh my. You know something special, child? No, you just gave up the fight, because you're dumb. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. And do not enter that fourth uh, room unless you... Actually, they changed it in this game, so don't worry about it. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna continue on next time all right sorry to split this up into parts i just don't want to have like a freaking two hour long video all right so i appreciate y'all watching and i'll see you guys next time